you see another rock lobster. It looks super creepy. Also, it got real dark all of a sudden. Brilliant. Oh. You're lucky I followed you. Huh? You might have run out of food and water if I hadn't. Mm, it's possible. Well, I don't think we're going to spot anything in this. Oh, I really hope we get lucky and find some kobolds. I might have a stupid idea. There's probably at least one cargo. There might. Oh, actually, there might not be. Never mind. I was going to say that there's probably a cargo container on that base, but there might not be a cargo container on that base. Because if there was a cargo container, then there'd be four metal grids, so that'd be a small amount of cobalt and potentially make it worthwhile attacking it. But for four cobalt... Hey, where else are we going to get cobalt from right now? I haven't seen any yet. We can't get off the planet unless we get cobalt. My plan would be for us to get enough cobalt for one small grid large hydrogen thruster and then we pack that onto a tiny little rocket with a survival kit and we go to space in it and then once we're in space we then rebuild because unless we find some cobalt I think that's kind of what we're going to have to do let's go for the cheapest way to get to space possible whoa huh? a little what? connection hitch and just before it happened I went into a power slide yeah was disconcerting. Oh look, there's more ice across the top of that ridge line. Yeah. That might be even closer than that other ice patch. No. Oh, actually, maybe. Oh, actually, there's an ice patch up here. Yeah, there's a little spot there. I think we've got enough for this trip, though. Yeah, I might just go up here and make a little GPS in case we need some more. Oh! Assert Frontier Outpost. Uh, oh goody. 4.8 k's ahead of us. The yeah. direction that we're going. I see it. We're going to have to hug really close to the mountain. Looks like we'll pass it at around 3 k's, which is not too bad. Oh, this is rough here. Yeah. Let me know if I'm getting too far ahead of you. And you want me to Ooh. slow down. Oh, it gets really steep on the other side of this. Really steep. Oh boy. We're going to want to go closer to the frontier outpost. It's not safe. Oh boy, you weren't kidding. Yeah. Oh no. Ooh. Almost did a jump. Evil Knievel style. Yeah. Jumping a vehicle that weighs 86 tons in 1.9 Gs, or masses 86 tons in 1.9 G. Not good. Oh, these hills are horrible. There's a, the world seems coming up too. We might want to go this oh, way. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're you're going the good way. Whoa, did you just jump? No. Oh, let's just be what I see. I think there's a nice crossing in it. Just one oh, little bit. I see. Whoa! That was a higher drop than I expected. <laughs> oh, it's so disappointing not having seen any ores at all. Like, I'd, I'd hope to at least see something. Oh. What's wrong? Got an unknown signal coming down three kilometers back in the direction of that frontier outpost. Yeah, it's so dark over here. Uh, Capac, do yeah. you reckon rather than making a large grid detector on my vehicle, what do you reckon about making a large grid, like a, as small as we can manage it, large grid vehicle, and you drive it? Yeah, we could do it that way. Because your little vehicles are awkward. <laughs> But aren't we going to need, like, heaps of resources to make a large grid vehicle? We've mined a fair bit of stone and refined a fair bit. We've got a decent amount of iron, so you should be okay. I was just thinking, like, four 3x3 three three wheels. Make it as narrow as it can be. Because then we can pack up the base. Oh, I'm going to go right. I don't like the look of that valley. 
But yeah, if we go like a 3x3 three three with a one block in between the wheels of each side, or even if you'd manage to get them stuck right against each other. Mm hmm. Go for an even with the build. Oh, this is not going to be pleasant. Uh, what, so, what does it need on it? So it's Ore detector? Have the ore detector. Battery. I mean, if it's just that, that's probably fine, because I can probably fit everything else in this, but a cargo container and a connector would be handy. But cockpit, battery, ore detector. Oh, jeez. I went a bad way. Stop, 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 stop. I see it. Uh, thoughts? Uh, this way, ar along the ridge line. Okay, yep. Oh, there's a big old crater down there. Yeah. Oh, lagtastic. I took a deviation off to the right. May not have been a good oh. idea. Well. Yep. Uh, don't go this way. Yeah, this way's not looking too great either. Maybe further this down this way. Very rough and very steep. Uh, this is very steep, but it's relatively smooth terrain. Alright, I made it. Yeah. What's that? You're miles ahead of me. Oh, and I gotta drive over this brain. I did a jump. There was a sudden drop. I did a jump. Oh, I survived it though. There are some big craters around here. Be careful. Yeah, I'm trying to get to one. I'll head back to base and I'll start collecting resources and uh, once you get back you can start laying out the design of your truck. And I'll help you build it. Oh, that crater is massive. Looks much smaller from on top of the hill. <laughs> um. Yeah. Our base isn't here. Huh? The You're probably looking in the wrong place. No, I'm at the GPS marker. Our base has disappeared. Uh... We named it. We named the grid. We had a beacon on it. We had power on it. What the heck? The whole base has been deleted. Oh. Um, well, did we have a battery on it? We did. Yeah. Uh, it's gone. It's all gone. Whoa, whoa. Oh, that was rough. You know what? I bet it what? was the sandstorms. They just blew sand all over the whole thing. <laughs> it's buried under hundreds of feet of sand. Oh, no, this is... Oh, this, this is really bad. We lost everything, Kapak. Well, I still got my trailer. <laughs> yeah, the most useless thing we've got, we've still got. We've lost it all. I, sh oh, I should have packed up some of it into the truck before we left. What do you want to do? It's not a great location because we're miles from the ice. Should we move to one of those ice locations? Set up a new uh, base there. Yeah. Or we could try to take on one of these military bases. Um, I don't think that's going to go particularly well, but... Well, I we don't even know where they are now. Yeah. And remember, you don't have a jetpack. Are you going to grab uh, your trailer? Yeah, i got a jetpack. It doesn't work, though. What, why are you moving the thing? So that you can connect? I was getting lined up for it, and you moved it away. Oh, sorry. Do you want to move it back there? <laughs> Alright. Set up a new base again. Ugh, so annoying. Glad I built this truck so big. But we just we just lost a huge amount of resources. Yep. That's going to set us back a long way. Right, so where are we gonna go? Back to that ice patch? Uh, which ice patch? So should we go back around the right hand the one, side or? Yeah. 
Yeah. I figure we've already started digging at that one, so we might as well head back there since we got no ties. Yep. Also, there was that base on the other side, which we probably want to avoid. Oh, yeah, good point. And I think this path was a bit easier, too. I mean, unless we want to try and get up the mountain to make our base up there. That doesn't seem like a good idea. Oh. What? This thing's real squirrely. Have you turned off the hinge that I turned on? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yes, it doesn't help. Yeah. I think I think we have to limit how many things we do with subgrid shenanigans. As I suspect uh, that was our problem. No. I think you have to limit how many things you do with subgrid shenanigans. Okay, fine. I have to limit the number of things we do with subgrid oh. shenanigans. Okay, uh, uh, this thing is not working. All right, let me come to you. Let's just, just grind it down. It's just oscillating madly. Uh, actually, you know what? What if I just I can get it lined up right and I lock it. Maybe it'd be better. It's just a truck, like a big truck. There you go. That's a bit better. You're okay. Yeah. Oh, I know, I know what we do. Let's not build a base this time. Let's build the vehicle first up. We'll use the survival kit and we'll build the refinery and the stuff on your new vehicle. Okay. Yep, sounds like a plan. Because that way we'll know it has a name, we'll know it's all good. We'll know we can move it. So at the end of each recording we can try and move away to somewhere that doesn't have voxel modifications. So that we have some small chance of hiding. I have no idea where you are right now. I went, I swung further right to try and cover more terrain with the ore detector. Ah. I'm 15 k's out from the ice. Oh, I can't see anything. I might be better off just camping out. You'll die of hunger and thirst. Oh. Oh dear. Oh. Oh. It's pity you can't go faster, because I'm actually now back in full daylight. I'm racing the sun. I'm going as fast as I can. I know, I know. I'm not commenting on your driving abilities, I'm commenting on the awkward vehicle that we constructed, because it's part your effort, part mine. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Out of the cauldron and into the fire. I am four kilometers away from the crossing point on the world gen border thing. Oh no. I just fell through the planet. Oh dear. No sign of sandworms yet. Oh, I'm back out in the sunlight. Hooray, I can see where I'm going again. Oh, is that a sandstorm coming in? I don't know, Why? I'm in the middle of the planet. <laughs> Finally, make it to the sunlight, and there's a sandstorm. I am 33 kilometers down. Okay. Oh! Uh, I found what? an iron deposit. Oh, nice. Mark it. In fact, we may want to set up camp there rather than the ice. Because that's going to speed up. Pretty close our, to the ice. That's going to speed up our like recovery from losing our stuff so much. Because if we that way, all we need to do is get up a basic refinery with a battery attached, or a couple of wind turbines attached, and we'll fly through and get heaps of iron quickly. That's awesome. Good job, Capac. Okay. Uh, should I just camp here, or should I keep heading to the ice? Uh, key camp there. Okay. I'll come meet you. Health critical. Uh. <laughs> Well, oh no, no, get back, come back. Energy oh, catch you later. Up. No, <laughs> get back here. <laughs> there we go. Oh, phew. <laughs> I was just in time with the server stopping too. So we've already started digging some stone. Did something just explode? No. Oh yeah, I'm digging my way down to the iron. Oh, we need food. And now. 
Alright, let me work on that first. Do you still have your food production thing on your truck? Food production? The emergency, the rations thing. Uh, I don't know what that is. No, you do not. So, it seems like we may have lost our base because it didn't have a beacon. That would do it. Um, so, we're going to have to be super careful that we don't lose any, like we don't damage a beacon. We may even want to have a redundant beacon on things. Like that sort of stuff. Just right, to... so a beacon will be the core of the vehicle we're going to make. Uh, yeah, I guess you could put a pair of them on there. Something changed with the way mining works? What do you mean? I swear my inventory's filling up much quicker than it used to. Uh, if you're deep underground, it will, because you get more stone from the stone. Alright, I've hit iron. Cool. There's not much point, there's no point mining the iron yet. Um, wait till we've got a refinery up, because we can't refine it just yet. Um, yeah? I might just have my survival kit make steel plates if you want to do other stuff. Oh yeah, that's probably a good call. I'm just focusing on um, producing us some food for the moment. Cool. Jeez, what a... This is awkward. <laughs> yeah, it's just a tight little spiral downwards. Rather tight. I'm so happy you found the iron. That was awesome. That's going to make things so much quicker to recover. Alright, I have started assembling the vehicle. I'm going to move my truck closer to the mine hole. Oh yeah, that's probably a good idea. Except I can't see it. Uh, I did put a little scaffold over it. Yeah, I've got no rear-facing lights. <laughs> Hold on, I'm coming around. Oh, there we go. That should be pretty good. Oh, we're going to be super careful about not losing our stuff again. Mm-hmm. It's unfortunate because we had enough. I like I'd collected so much iron. I sh I was thinking of putting some in the truck when we left, but I was like, no, it's safe. We've got everything we need. It'll be fine. Kind right, of queued up all the bits for all the different um, stuff we need for the refinery and assembler. How much power have you got on your rover? Nineteen hours. All right, we're gonna have to sort that out side of things out too before we call it a night, because otherwise we'll lose everything. If we build a large grid connector and hook my rover up to the base, that'll provide the base with power if the base just... So all the base needs is the large grid connector and a wind turbine. Because that'll provide enough power for the connector to function, then I can hook up, and then my batteries can power the refinery until we get the proper one up and running. And every time there's a storm, the wind turbines will start working more efficiently. Oakley doakley. No, that's what I'm going to focus on. Uh, see if you can lay out where I can put the refinery and assembler. Inventory full. Uh, okay. Now obviously we can't build a cargo container because we can't make the grids we need for it. But we can make connectors and connectors have a large amount of storage space. We can also make welders so we can use a welder as a cargo container. So okay. if you want to have something as a temporary cargo container between, say, the assembler and the refinery, place down a welder block. Because a welder on large grid just takes one large steel tube. And a bunch of other bits we could, which we can manufacture from our survival kits. Alright, uh, there should be plenty of room up here to put assemblers and things. Maybe put them at the back. Which end's the back? The one that's not the ore detector. Oh, so you want me to just place them down? Alright, I'll do that. I'll put down a welder in between just so that we got a cargo. Uh, I'll put the wind turbine up the front. Yep, we'll probably end up having to slap down a whole bunch of them stuck off it. For a, a short yeah, time. Yeah, okay, I'll make a little... Stalk. Tower, yeah. Right, the turbine's almost up. Awesome. Uh, the refinery and assembler are almost up too. There we go. Refinery is up. Okay, so turbine's up. Cool. Um, we can probably... Yeah. 
We can probably chuck a little bit of iron ore in that refinery. Because uh, as soon as there's a storm, it should get refined. Okay. So I'm going to mine a little bit. Because it hits so much faster. Of course, still need the stone mining for nickel and silicon. So, how would you feel about me attaching a connector right on the middle at the rear? Uh, that's fine. Ooh, it's a big one. Space credits, emergency rations, fertilizer, coffee, potatoes, nice. cucumber seeds, and seed potatoes. That's good. There's a bouton. A leopard drill. So what I'm doing now as well is I've ordered up 80 battery components from the assembler. Which is enough for a large grid large grid battery. So I just need to get a bit more silicon and then we'll have enough in there so that in the next storm we should get some of those batteries made. Oh yep. I think you had enough silicon and nickel in your truck, which is great. Oh, I think that's one for you in the chat there. <laughs> uh -oh. How's that for a response, Kathak? <laughs> Almost got the connector, and then I just got to figure out how to get my truck to the right height that it can hook up. Either that or a storm. Either way. Oh. What's for? Oh. I just ran out of oxygen, and then I couldn't get in your truck. Energy low. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, we'll get an O2H2 gen set up on your truck and uh, things like that. Okay. <laughs> uh. I really gotta figure out how to edit so that I can show that chat in an inch, in an entertaining way. Oh, here comes the storm again. Yep. Got 11 power cells already. Uh, quickly mine some iron. Because we can get it refined. I just needed to grab some power because I was about to die. Yeah. They're pushing me back down the tunnel. I gotta get past. Might need some passing lanes. Uh, how far away do the wind turbines need to be? Don't worry, just place them like five blocks or something apart. Because with the storm, I don't think it matters terribly much. I think having more placed quickly than placing them spaced out like I did before is what matters. And if we manage to get them tight enough that you can actually leave with some of them still attached to the truck, that'd be even better than having them perfectly spaced. That's my take on it anyway. Oh yeah, we've almost got 2,000 iron already. Damn. Yeah. It makes such a big difference. Having iron versus using stone for collecting iron. Like, our ability to manufacture steel plate is going to be so much better. Why aren't you... Inventory is full. Oh no. Uh, Kapak, where's the battery? What battery? You didn't place a battery block? Nope. Uh, have you named this grid? Not yet. Quickly name it. How close did we get? Oh, we got eight power cells left to be made. No oh no. Energy. It's been named. It's been named? What did you name it? It is called... The Booze Bus. Really? Yep. <sighs> So it's... Oh. How many people outside Australia do you think are going to know what the booze bus is? <laughs> it's... Given it's not what people would initially imagine. It's closer to a paddy wagon than it is a party bus. Yeah, it depends on your point of view. <laughs> if you're manufacturing steel plate or anything from your survival kit, grab some of the iron from the refinery on the truck, on the bus. I am not. What are you doing? I'm making the stuff to make them more turbines. Oh, well, even still, there's probably plenty of iron in that, so you could speed up your manufacturing by grabbing some from there. Okay. Man, I'm going through power like nobody's business. Yep. No, not power. Oxygens. Oh. <laughs> uh. I keep getting power and oxygen confused for some reason. <laughs> that is odd. Well, next storm, we will have a battery on our boost bus. Well, next storm... 
We will have three functioning wind turbines. Nice. Well, I should. Uh, once I've gotten all the bits for the battery, my plan is to help you with those. So I was thinking, if we went with like that sort of spacing, and then do lines of turbines down each side as well, to the rear. So maybe we get like we have I don't know eight turbines for whenever we park. Uh, sure. I know it's. I know the efficiency is poor, but... Well, I don't care about that. You're just gonna make my whole car just look ugly. Well, it's not permanent. It's just the only way we've got to... It's the only good way we've got to make power right now until we have an easy way of collecting ice. I've almost got a drill rig set up. Um, if you can do some quick, st if you can do some stone mining to try and get the nickel we need for the motors I need to make this thing, then we should be able to get a heap of oh. iron and a heap of stone and stuff quickly. Oh, uh, you waiting for the voxels to load? Well, they all looked fine, and then I fell through the world. <laughs> yeah, you're you're in the pit I dug, and I hope you don't die when you fall down. Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah. You should land safely where you are. As in not slide all the way down the hill. Maybe one day. So the thing we did with the turbines placing them really close to each other totally works when there's okay. a storm. They um, were outputting anywhere from 900 kilowatts to 1.2 megawatts each. There's a thing over there. Thing over where? You can see... It's like a little blinky light or something. Um, it is... Is it the direction the sun's in? Yes. It's the sun. Well, what? No, I can see the sun. Oh, because you're under these boxes, of course. Uh, it is... Could it be oh. a drop pod thing? Could be. It's halfway between southwest and west-southwest. From the iron deposit. Oh, well, you can't see the iron deposit marker. Also, there's something over there. What is that? Hmm. Looks like a rover. Are we near some people? I suppose being on an iron deposit might attract others. It's another reason for us to get this mining rig up and running, collect some stuff, Ooh. build your wheels, and then move. What, what did Inventory you just... Full. Oh, okay. Uh, what I'm seeing that I thought was a rover was a bunch of rocks that you have mined. Ah. It looked like wheels. So, did you notice that the ground is discolored here? Yeah. Yeah. That means we'll be able to find any other raw markings because they should be the same. We've just uh, got to get some high ground. But for now, just mine that stone and shove it in the basic refinery. Because I've got two large batteries hooked up to the base and I've got my rover hooked up as well. You're running off to investigate that thing, aren't you? I... Uh, I did. I'm back now. What was it? Couldn't find it. It's too dark. Yeah, see what I've done with the place? Ignore the weird welder bits. They are just cargo containers that will be replaced later. But they act okay. as normal cargo containers. They just only have three different directions that they convey off. Please don't weld up your wheels yet. Well, Help me not? drilling the ground, then we can both weld your wheels. It will be quicker that way. I thought it was important to get this thing mobile as soon as possible. Yes, and the way we're going to do that is get the drill rig done, drill through, and use all those resources to make them, and then we leave with lots of resources. Any thoughts of what we should do with your um, vehicle and its survival kit? No idea. I'm wondering... We could donate it to a museum. Somewhat tempted to scrap it. Uh, do we have a new survival kit on the new vehicle? Can we make one? Not until we find more silver. Or, if we wanted to just have the la Basically, we're not going to get enough silver back from grinding it down. Right. So we can either grind both survival kits down and try and build one large grid one. Or, we leave the one on my rover 
and destroy the one on yours or we do something else with the one on yours or we use the resources that we're about to get from the mining from the drill rig to build some sort of crane so that you can lift up just the survival kit onto your big vehicle hold on what if what if we reduced because you're planning on attaching your thing to the back of this thing uh when we park yes but when we're moving around, I was thinking we'd both be moving independently. Okay. Because what if we... What if we cut down this survival kit? Were you thinking like, connector, survival kit, battery, connector? And have it as sort of like a little bit that sticks in between? Yeah. Yeah, we might be able to do that. Okay. I've got the drill rig finished, so... All the resources that are there are free for use. Okay. Okay, you know, drill rig is operating. Cool. It's got a bigger reach than the one I built at the other base. Uh, does a cockpit use power when it's uh, not being used? I think you could turn a... Uh, I don't know, and if it does, it doesn't use much. We can make you a new battery to get rid of the... You can get rid of those and get rid of the O2H2 gen. Okay. Whoa, whoa. Jeez. What? The lag? Uh, yeah, it lagged and almost ran straight into the mining hole. Oh yeah, don't do that. It is getting progressively to a point where it will kill you if you fall in there. I blame you for the way I do these drill heads now. What? Well, you, your design of your um, uranium miner on the alien on the alien planet. Mm. Uh, because I realised that those drills worked in that orientation, I now mostly do my drill heads this way with the two ones pointing outwards because it oh. gets you a little bit of extra reach without having to build any extra conveyors I am a genius well you do try crazy things and sometimes they work I'm a mining savant <laughs> okay I have noticed a downside of using we uh, welders as our storage the oh, drills yeah. do not automatically dump into them right so I'm having to manually empty them so that they don't the drills don't block up and run out of space. We've got like 80,000 iron ore. Oh yeah? Yeah. <laughs> That's why I wanted to get this drill rig done quickly. The two suspensions at the front just need large and small tubes. Cool. Have you got your thing ready to go to hook it up? Uh, yep, uh, should be ready to pick up, just need to build a crane. Alright, do you want to start working on the crane? I'll work on your wheels. Oh dear, ow. You alive? Yeah. Oh good, look at those wind turbines go. They're going nuts. They are. I think thanks to the storms, our batteries are actually, um, going up rather than down despite the two refineries. And the assembler running almost constantly. Wait, since when were there T-junctions on the conveyors like that? It's a mod. A mod? Yes. Who ever mod. heard of such a thing? Uh, steel plates, large tubes, construction components. You're still not using build planner. It's a, an abomination. Also, it doesn't work when something has two different parts. Yes, it does. That's exactly when it works. What? Well, Lies. All lies. You right click on it with your welder and it adds it to the queue. You then walk up to a cargo access point and middle mouse and it grabs it. You shift middle mouse if it's not all there and it gets added to the production queue. That's the best way to use it. Oh, that's weird looking. What's that? A shadow on that moon over there. Oh yeah. It must be. Directly edge on to us. Oh, construction components. Nobody likes construction components. Don't even have their own names. Oh, we're getting so much iron. This is going to be ridiculous. I don't think we're going to need to worry about iron. Again. <laughs> Famous last words. Wow. Yeah, it's actually... Assuming we don't lose this, and we do build at the scale that I'm expecting, I would be surprised if we need to mine iron again. 
So this is Grand Tour. We're building a bit more efficiently, a bit more compact, not crazy huge things. Like I normally do. Right, my magnificent work of art is finished. Can that reach? Or are you going to build a giant ramp? Huh? Once this thing's on the ground, it'll be able to reach. Is that your way of saying you want to drop this thing off? Um... Or should we I mean, come, should we chance it? Point. Or should we chance it and leave it here so that we can refine all this stuff? What do you reckon? We're pretty ready to go next time. Hang on, why don't we build, why don't we build a bit of a ramp to bring it up here to lock it on there? Because it should be relatively how are you doable. Gonna, how are you going to bring it anywhere? But we put a battery on the thing and it drives. Seems like a waste of a battery. Well, that battery will then be attached via that connector to this base, so it'll be another battery on the base. I mean, do you want to <laughs> try to put up your uh, LCD thing again? Okay. Because we should probably have one on the base anyway. Saying, this is the booze bus. Blah, blah, blah. Whatever you want to write on it. Hey, come back. Can yeah. you put some lights on this bridge? Can you come over and shine your headlights on this bridge that I'm trying to reverse onto? Uh... What the? It's wide enough? Yeah. Figured if we extend this along, we should be able to reverse up to that connector. Okay. Ow. Uh, we have a height problem. Um, okay. A uh, simple solution to this would be just shove a couple of little pistons on this thing. Uh, well, we could drop the hinge down a bit. It's not as low as it could be. Oh, yeah, you might be able to get away with it if it's angled. Yeah, why don't you angle the hinges and see if you can get it to line up, as get it as low as it can go. Wait, I'm, I'm, I can lock. Do you want me to lock? Uh, sure. You can just tilt me up? Yep. Alright, it's locked. Cool. Great success. Now if you just lift it with your... Wait, does this grid have a name? Yeah, it should do. It's ah, not an escape pod, don't delete. Gotcha. Well, if you lift up that hinge, you'll be able to lift this so it won't be in the way once you start, once we drop you to drive. You have a long way to fall from there. Yeah. <laughs> Connector. Ow! Ow! Fell in the drill hole. And somehow didn't die. Can't see if this is doing anything or not. Uh, yep, that should be plenty. That should be... You just crashed it into the wind turbine. There you go. You happy? Uh, I don't know. I'll see if I can get across here or not. Uh, you may need to straighten out the second one. There we go. I'm free. Yes. That's not awkward at all. Oh, How long do you reckon it'll be before geez. that snaps off? It'll be fine. <laughs> oh, why? Why what? I saw something weird over the hill, and I'm like, oh, I'll go have a look at that, and then a sandstorm comes ah. in. <laughs> have you got a cockpit on this? Not yet. Well, that's going to be important at some point. Oh, it's... oh, no, it can't go there. Oh, yeah, it was going to go, I was going to put it here, uh, on top of the ore detector. You had an armor block here. Yeah, uh, that right, was just out. a placeholder while I was building up the turbines. Uh -huh. Alright, we've got a control seat. Oh, nice. Sweet. Control seat. We've got a moderate amount of cargo, which is inconvenient because uh, I have to manually move the oars into it. We've got the drill rig that has passed completely through that segment of the iron deposit 
So it's now able to collect more stone. What I think we'll do next time is punch that drill rig the whole way down to its maximum extent so we get everything we can out of the resources that I put into it. And once that's done, detach this thing and roll out. Oh, and if you hadn't noticed, the uh, solar panels attach via those railings. Uh, okay. So don't take the railings off unless um, you want the solar panels to drop. You might want to weld them up then. Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. Also, what did you write on the LCD? Check. <laughs> Yep. Fair enough. I'll pay that. Alrighty. Well, we've got some plans for next time. So there's all that and plenty more to come. And we will see you then. Because we're very friendly. Yes. We are very friendly.